Hey, how's it going? This is John Abarca, and I am the Young Adults Ministry Director here at Calvary Assembly of God. Today, I want to talk to you and answer the question of how do I maintain a healthy community during a pandemic? I think this is gonna be a fun conversation. Uh, community is something that I really, really value and is really important to me, and so I'm excited to share some of my thoughts with you. The first thing that I wanna do is talk about why community is important, right? All through scripture, uh, we see that community is important. Like Proverbs, uh, the book of Proverbs, which is just like this book full of like wise sayings, talks about friendships and the importance of them. The apostle Paul in a bunch of his letters talks about the importance of friendships and how Christians are supposed to build each other up and you know continue to be with one another, be in community with one another. Even like going back to the beginning of creation, right? Like human beings were literally created to be in community with other human beings. Like God creates Adam and says it's not good for man to be alone and so he creates Eve right to be able to uh, be with Adam in the garden and for them to be able to live their lives uh, in community with one another and all throughout scripture we see that community is important and so even during a pandemic I think it's worthwhile to still pursue this um, as we try to you know continue to grow in our relationship with God and you know hold on to relationship with other people before we go any further um, I want to, you know, I want to say like we have a need for community. Um, we know it's important, but it's also not always easy to pursue. And especially during this COVID season, there's added challenges. And I want to address some of those off the bat, right? So uh, I want to talk a little bit about guidelines really quick. Like I know that there are tons of different ideas on how to apply COVID-19 guidelines. Um, I know some people are really strict adherence. I know some people are not as strict. Um, I know that there's this whole spectrum on how we engage with guidelines and, um, you know, person to person, I think that that often differentiates. And the reality is, right, like, unless we are only friends with people that think exactly like we do, then our community probably is going to have people who are operating differently in regards to these guidelines, right? And so with that in mind, what I want to say is, what I'm gonna talk about today should apply to you no matter where you are on that spectrum, right? So whether you, you know, are super, super strict or whether you are, you know, super, super not strict, these tips that I'm gonna to give to you today, these five tips on cultivating community should apply to you. So five tips to cultivating community, to maintaining meaningful community in the middle of a pandemic. Here we go. Number one, get creative. I think that this pandemic has been an opportunity to try things that like I might not have done before or things that I didn't really like to do. And I understand that this is gonna take effort, right? Like it takes effort to be creative, to think outside the box, but that's also kind of what friendship is about, right? Like friendships aren't just supposed to be easy, they're supposed to be worthwhile. And so sometimes that means going above and beyond what you're comfortable with. I know this season, like I've gone on more hikes this year than probably ever in my life or the past five years combined. Um, I don't love it. you know. I I don't love the great outdoors per se, but I know that that's been a safe way for me to be able to engage with friends outside. You know, it's a fun thing that other of my friends love to do. And so I've said, what the heck, like I'm gonna do it. And so I've initiated some of those, gone on some of those. You know, it's been a great way just to get to be around people and to be in community with friends that I value, right? Because I'd rather see my friends than not go on a hike. So that's been one thing. But I think that there's so many other things that you can do. You can explore new hobbies, you can explore new adventures, outdoors, you know, like indoors, like social distance, mass, what, you know, whatever it looks like to you. I know during like lockdown and stuff, we were even trying like virtual events. I have friends who have grown closer with playing Call of Duty that like I never would have played with before. So there's tons of different ways to go about this, but I think you can get creative, try new things, um, and find ways to connect with people that you normally wouldn't. Another piece on this that I want to, you know, kind of push is prioritize friendship dates, right? And so what do I mean by that? In a time where big group gatherings are not happening as frequently and, you know, are being advised to like cut those out or like cut down on those and stuff like that, having one-on-one -on -one interactions can be really, really important and really, really key. And so, you know, making a point to reach out to a friend and say, hey, like, I wanna hang out with you. Like, I wanna go out with you, like, to go get food, um, whether it's, you know, on, Skype or Zoom or whatever, but having those one-on-one -on -one interactions with people, I think goes a very, very long way. It can be very, very fruitful, especially when we can't have those big gatherings, it's good to have those little gatherings. So friendship dates, 
get creative, put in some effort. I think it's gonna be really, really worthwhile. Tip number two, ask questions. This is something that I think is so valuable to any type of relationship, but I think especially when you're trying to cultivate community, create community, maintain community, asking questions is literally like the most important thing that we can do to build intentional community. Ask your friends questions. Don't just ask how someone is, ask why they're doing you know, however they say they're doing, right? Like most of the time, uh, if I walk up to somebody, I'll ask them, hey, how are you doing? And they say, oh, I'm good. And I'm like, why are you good? And immediately their faces are just like, what? But what I've also noticed is when I ask people why they're doing good, they recognize like I actually have a vested interest in what they have to say. And so I've had people open up about things. I've had people, you know, just give normal answers or whatever, but go beyond the surface level questions, right? Like when you're talking with someone, ask the whys behind the hows, ask the whys behind the whats, you know, stuff like that. But go in deep, ask people what they really think about topics. I think that this has been a crazy year with a lot of divisive thoughts, um, a lot of different opinions, stuff like that. But like, if we can't be real about what we think in our friendships, then I don't know if there's a place where we can be real. And so, you know, having open, honest conversations with friends, what do you really think about COVID? What do you really think about the election? What do you think about what Pastor Bob talked about on Sunday at church? You know, like, what are your honest thoughts? Ask those questions. I know it can feel awkward if you're not used to it, but it goes such a long way. And at the end of the day, healthy friendships are always gonna be made stronger by asking questions and by going in to what your friends really think, you know? Because my guess is there's a lot of things that we don't know about our friends. And it's always fun to figure out new things that, you know, make the people around us tick. So ask questions, that's number two. Number three, be present get off the dang phone. Whether you're Zooming, whether you're in person, don't be scrolling while you're chilling. Don't be, don't be on your phone, don't be texting, don't be in other places. I think that as a society, we actually move so, so fast and we're always doing different things and we're always multitasking. And like the best interactions I have are when I'm able to put everything away sit down for a moment and just be present with whoever I'm around. And that's a challenge for me. Like I'm not, you know, I'm not saying something to you that I also don't need to hear, right? Like it's tough for me to be present, but I've also seen the worthwhileness of it. And so I wanna communicate that to you, right? To be present, be focused on who's around you, be in the moment. Don't worry about what's gonna happen later or what's going on. Just be with your friends, be with the, be with the community that you're in. So be present, put the phone down, put other things away, you know, life, whatever, be present with your community. Fourth thing, lighten things up. I know that so far I've talked a lot about like intentional community and asking deeper questions and like going in. And I think that's so important. I think that that's really, really important, but it's also important sometimes just to be chill, do fun things, talk about subjects that in the greater scheme of things are meaningless, you know, TV shows you're watching, uh, sports you're interested in, books, movies, art, music, I don't know if I said that already, but music, talk about just fun things, less important things. You know, stuff like that, I think it'd be so fun sometimes. Have fun, you know, like do things that are enjoyable for you and the other person, you know, whether again, it could be video games, could be something on Zoom, could be, you know, something outside. Find ways to have fun with your community because I think if you can't have fun as a community, then it's hard to go deep with a community, right? Or go deep with friends because I think fun actually builds up trust and builds up relationships. So have fun, slow things down, lighten them up. Number five. No, it won't be easy, but don't give up. We're not gonna get this perfect. We're in the midst of a global event. It's a pandemic. It's a world changing thing. It's gonna be in the history books. Like, it's okay if we're not always getting this right. Um, there's gonna be times where you feel like you're killing it, where you have awesome friendships, awesome community, you know, like you feel healthy, you're doing great. And then my guess is there's also gonna be times where you don't feel like you're doing as well, or you're struggling or whatever. And what I want you to know is like, that's okay. It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be difficult. It's gonna take effort to maintain relationships during this time. I think even in the coming year, you know, as things open up and stuff like that, like it's still going to take effort and it's still going to be difficult. What I want you to know is that's okay. Like it's okay to struggle. It's okay to wake up some days and be like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I wanna do this. I just kinda wanna stay in bed and watch Netflix all day. But we can't let that become an excuse to disengage from community, right? No matter where you are, no matter what, it's going to be important to maintain relationships. And so it's gonna be hard, it's gonna be difficult, it's gonna be challenging sometimes, 
but it's all worthwhile. You know, again, I think scripture talks about the worthwhileness of community. I think that we all know when we have healthy friendships, when we have healthy relationships, you know, we get built up, we grow stronger, we're able to to do more, be more of who God made us to be. And so what I want to encourage you with is let it be difficult, let it be challenging, own the fact you're not going to be the best friend that you could be sometimes, and that's okay, but don't use it as an excuse. Use it as motivation to be a better friend, to grow deeper, to, to, to dig deeper into a relationship, to be the best friend that you can be even when you're struggling. Those are five tips to maintain meaningful community in a pandemic. I hope that these are helpful to you. I would love to hear um, if you try any of these out, what is being creative, what creative things you do with your friends, stuff like that. Um, you can put that down in comments, come talk to me at church, whatever that looks like. Uh, would love to hear about that and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, wonderful rest of your week. Good luck maintaining community in a pandemic. Uh, we'll catch you later. Thanks so much.